So this will happen somehow, somewhere along the way, you will have a lot of work coming in and you will be out there taking, taking a lot of pictures, editing, retouching a lot of pictures for a long period of time. And this can harm somehow, this can potentially harm your work. So putting that camera away for some time can actually be good for your photography. You know, working too much can prevent you from seeing the whole picture. Having your nose to the grindstone is an obstacle for change, growth and evolution. Working too much, shooting too much will result in accumulating stress and fatigue. Working when you're tired is a no-no. You won't be able to think straight, you will make mistakes, you will take bad decisions will make crappy pictures and this can potentially harm your business. For me, inspiration comes when I have some time off, when I'm away from photography. Your inspiration can come from watching movies, reading a book, going to museums, going out for a walk in the wild, in the forest, watching live performances, concerts, you know, it can come from anywhere, but you gotta take some time for it. It will boost your creativity and I believe it's vital for, for your work. Take some vacation, go abroad, meet new people, new cultures, see how people think differently and have a different perspective. This will help you recharge your batteries, you will come back fresher, stronger and with new motivations. Photography is a solitary activity. You spend most of your time all alone when you are looking for new clients sketching ideas, looking for new locations for your projects, retouching and editing and so on. You got to interact with the world around you, you got to meet new people with human beings. And I say interacting with new people in real life, not online, in the real world. Why? To have a real social life, to interact with real people, make new friends, have a laugh, to be happy. You know, you have to live a balanced life. You have to spend some time with your loved ones. They need you and you need them. Trust me, you will see things differently. You will manage and handle your stress, your anger, your difficulties way better. And this will have an impact on your work in the long run. Taking some time away from your camera will make you love coming back to it and it will boost your passion for photography. Plus, it will give you some time to take a step back and reflect on your own work. Oh, this reminds me of a video I posted a few weeks back. If you really can't take some time off, then start by slowing down. When you do too many things at once, when you're working too much, you will allow yourself for less time for preparation, less time for scouting for locations less time for editing, retouching, you will rush things and this equals sloppy work. When you are out of time, when you don't have a lot of time for a specific project, you rely on your reflexes and the result is that you will stay in your comfort zone, you won't take any risks, which might end up in you making the same things over and over and over again. This happened to me very recently, I had a lot of work at the end of last year, I had to rush things. I stayed in my comfort zone and I recycled the same ideas on multiple shoots. Not a good thing. The images that I made are not bad. They just don't add anything to my work. And I didn't learn much during that time of my life. Time, time is valuable, time is necessary and sometimes when I edit, when I retouch pictures, I need a good night of sleep to look at my images again the next morning because sometimes I miss, I can miss a few details, I can go a bit too far with my contrast, with my highlights, with my colors, with my retouching as a whole because I've been working on too many edits at once 
or just because I was too tired. So if you kind of feel lost, if you look at your camera and you don't have a clue of what to do next, if you feel that in your recent work there is a lack of creativity, then maybe this is a sign that you have to take some time off. I took a little break during Christmas and I'm slowly getting back to work right now. I should probably take some time off from YouTube. I wonder how all these YouTubers make three, four, five videos a week. Yeah, do they have a family or even friends? Do you sometimes go out without your camera? Can you spend a few days, a few weeks without taking or making any pictures? And if you already did, how was it? Tell us in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram if you want to know where I am right now and what I'm currently working on. If you are new to this channel, give me a little thumbs up and check out all my past behind the scenes videos and tutorials. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please consider doing so. And I guess I will see all of you guys next week on this channel. But until then, please have a good one.